Okay. So, I have a mainspring for my Rolex. It comes with a blue side, silver side, blue side up when I push it into the barrel. Put a little bit of oil in it. Push it around in the barrel. Should be fine. Okay. So this is tricky. You want to make sure it's flush. And you want to push it in. Okay. So now the mainspring's inside the mainspring barrel. Okay, now I have to put the auber in. This is tricky. You want to use a little anvil so you can push it through. And you got to follow the tongue has a groove and a special turn, and it looks like it goes in this way. So you slide. Oh, that went in pretty easy. Back it up to catch the tongue and the opening on the mainspring, and that is it. Check to make sure it's caught. Beautiful. Another little drip of oil on top. It'll, it'll uh, work its way around through the whole mainspring. Put the mainspring barrel cover on. This is not the way they taught you in school, but it works. And I've been doing it for 40 years. Okay, so that's that. Now I'm going to oil the arbor because the oil on the mainspring might not and should not get to the, to the auber and the barrel. Okay. It's pretty clean. I, I just overhauled this watch with the ultrasonic cleaner. I'm going to roll the gear again, make sure there's nothing in it. And now I'm going to bring back the movement because I'm going to put this where it belongs. Okay. Always looking for dust and lint that falls on everything. And always touch up your watch. A little bit of lint will stop anything. Okay, so we have left here the main spring bridge. Okay, so we're going to place that in place. Beautiful. 